What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 15 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. As we can see, we're just being asked to find what positive integer is closest to the value of the square root of 230. Now, in order to do a question like this, you need to know your relationship between square numbers and square roots. That's how I'm going to solve this problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my big board where I have written some square roots already. There's some square numbers already, I apologize. And as you can see, I've got all the square numbers here from 1 down to 20, and even some cube numbers that we needed for um, the last problem, number 14. Now, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for some number that's really close to the value inside my square root on the side of my square numbers. So, for instance, if I know that 5 squared equals 25, then I know that the square root of 25 equals 5. If I'm trying to find the square root of 50, since 50, the number inside my square root, is very close to 49, then I can say that it's about equal to the square root of 49, which is 7. So I'm trying to do that with the number 230. And as I look through my square numbers, the closest square number I see to 230 is actually here, 225. So since 225 is about 230, the square root of 230 is going to be closest to the square root of 225, which was 15. Now just to be sure, I'm going to compare 230 to 256 as well, and I'm going to ask myself what's what would be like the number line distance between 225 and 230, and then between 225 and 256. So if I'm driving on the interstate, like if I'm driving on Highway 40, which I think is one of the most commonly driven roads in North Carolina, and I'm at mile 225, how long is it going to be until we get to mile 230 so I can get home or see my family or whatever? Well, that's actually, that would just be five miles. So it would be five miles or five units on the number line to get from 225 to 230. And now, let's say I'm at 230 and I'm trying to get to 256. Well, that one's a bit trickier. I would, might have to pull out some subtraction or something. 256 minus 230. 200 minus 200 is no hundreds. 5 tens minus 3 tens is 2 tens. 6 ones minus 0 ones is 0 ones. Oh, no, 6 ones, sorry. For, uh, got myself into a habit of saying 0. So this distance is 26 miles. 230 is much closer to 225 than it is to 256. Therefore, the square root of 230 is going to be very close to 15, and the magic of editing is going to make me reappear on my question page, zoomed into my gridded response box, so I can go ahead and fill that in. That was so magical. So anyway, my answer is 15. That's the positive integer. Remember, an integer doesn't have a decimal point. It doesn't have any decimal places with it. And that's 15, which means that I'm going to need to find my 1 bubble underneath where I wrote the 1, and my 5 bubble underneath where I wrote the 5, and, and fill each of those in so that the computer that grades my test will know that I got it correct. 